Hey guys, welcome back to Unstable, episode 18. I don't know why, even though we I said how like, oh my god, 17's Bree's birthday last episode, I always think, I don't know why for the longest I thought your birthday was the 18th. When I first, like... You don't know my birthday? No, I know your birthday. Now I do, like, I know it 100%, but like, before when we first got close, I wasn't sure. I always get like that with friends. I'm never sure if their birthday is like the day, I think, before or the, the day, day after. after. Like, it's always like... Like, uh, I know it's, like, one of those, like, Karina, I always, I'm always, like, it's the 14th. It's not. It's the 12th. Yeah. I know it's the 12th. But for the longest, I, I thought that. it was the 14th. I get that, too. I get that, too. Like, <sighs> it's weird. Weird. Your birthday's coming up next. My, oh, my God. I'm turning 23, guys. I was about to say Gemini, baby, but you're a Cancer, baby. I'm don't sorry. Do don't do that. Um, I can do that. You thought my birthday was the 18th. I don't want to be a Gemini. Fake. No, I, bro, I know when your birthday is. I literally know all the dates. I know every date. You could literally quiz me, and I would know every date. Important. No one's got time for that. Come she on, knows Muchi. I'd be right. Muji, you're supposed to come over here. Muji. We put out our, like, you scared of our eye. things. Muchi. Because we Daya wants Muji to come sit with her, because April always comes. So she's but Mu- like, they like... They only like to sit when there's, like, nice, comfy things. So I figured Muji would come sit. You scared him. He was going to lay here. No, I want him to lay here. Anywho, I've had this thought and it's just because I've been taking Ubers more than recently. You know how we take Ubers because we don't want to go on like the bus or the train like late at night sometimes and we'll just Uber. But then I just started thinking about and maybe this is just me spiraling. But like the concept of Ubers, like, yeah, we hear horror stories of like Ubers and then like, you know, take advantage, take take advantage or like kidnap or something, something. But I think of the aspect of like they know where you live. So if they wanted to, they see you, they know, they can clock in your address and then just stalk you. Like, I just, you know what I mean? Like, I think about that. Like, these are just, like, isn't the concept wild? Like, we honestly just get in cars with strangers. But, like, okay, most people, I, and I'm not saying it for all because that's obviously people who have, like, approved for Uber and they end up doing bad things. Yeah. I'm not going to say that. And also, they could just get approved by somebody else. But I also know, but I also know people who have been approved. So I know it's not like they don't just take anybody. That's so it's like true. so it's like if someone's actually going out of their way using someone but else's someone, yes that or happens all the time. Someone can be approved and then still be a, do something. They just don't have a record. That's they just possible. don't have a record yet. That's possible. Yeah. That's possible. But it's like it's up to our discretion. We're signing up these no, yeah, waivers no. and we're literally giving up any right to that. I know. I just think like, about it. It's just kind of crazy how like we're just so comfortable doing. It. Like we're so used to Ubers and stuff flat now. But like because it's like this is where we are now. Because think about it, it was just the same thing with the yellow taxi cab. People were getting yeah, cabs. Yeah. It's always been around. Right. Ubers are just more popular now, so that like they're just, just everywhere and anyone I mean, can yeah, really get I mean, a job doing that, it. Yeah, I mean even that though, like we're just getting into cars with strangers. Like no, that's just how we live. I think about all the times where we'll see the picture on our Uber, like on the app, like of the driver, and that's not who's delivering the our food. food. Yeah, or, no. like in the Uber. And We've I'm had like, like it's like young it's a girls, woman. It's a woman, and then it's just like this big man. That's like obviously it looks like it could be like their boyfriend, sibling, father, anything, maybe. anything, but, anything. But, but like. Why can't what's you wrong use your with th- you what's wrong with you what is <laughs> why can't why can't you get an account right because you've had someone ask you right to use your thing before so so, so when yeah when yeah. yeah so like so just to get approved so Bro, i was imagine like imagine you saw hedaya's and jazzy's coming to pick you up and it's not <laughs> and it's not but that's what i'm saying so i'm just like that's so, so funny. what i remember like i think of that i'm like okay people probably do that all the time they definitely do it's easy they definitely do i just saw this video today actually and this woman i think i sent it to you did you watch yeah. it she got an uber and the uber driver a woman drove her to the freaking airport and like bro like come I on don't... you could put two and two together no, yeah what was i don't going know what i would there. do i don't know what i do. I would freak i would freak out, having a out panic especially attack. if i'm, I'm there i don't attack. even know so i'm saying like the thing is there's also like thankfully there's like there's a lot of cops at airports like always still like she's i'd lucky. start screaming like i'd start screaming once we got to the airport yeah oh yeah like, I'd be like, I don't know this woman. She literally brought me I here. I mean, she's lucky, like, nowhere. no one got into the car before, like, she could get no, out. You yeah. know what I mean? Cause yeah. There's just so many things that could yeah. happen. I was thinking about because I saw a TikTok after my trip saying why you should never switch seats with someone. What do you mean? His story was basically... Wait, like, switch seats where? Seats, like, at, in the plane. Like, if you sat oh. down in your seat and someone comes and's like, can we switch for this and this? Mm. He was like... You should never do it. And then he gave his reason. His reasoning was basically because some older woman came and asked, like, can you switch seats with my daughter? She's, like, up in there in first class. Like, up there, up ahead. And the thing is, he was already in, like, in the front of, like, the basic economy seat. So anything higher is first class. But she didn't state you'd be getting a first class seat. Like, you're switching with my daughter's first class. She just said she's up ahead. 
So it's like sussy. Like she's not really like, and she's like, she wanted, like she wasn't bringing the daughter to him to be like, can you guys switch? She basically, she basically wanted him to go like find her. She was like this, he, like, it wasn't oh, okay. like making sense. It was very like That's weird. weird. Yeah. And like, he didn't end up giving up his seat and whatever. And she got like all flustered and she ended up getting pissed. And like, she sat down next to him because that's where her seat was apparently. And that's why he, she was asking to switch with right. the daughter. But someone, man came and was like, ma'am, like the show is taken. Like, this is my seat. And she like upset, like grabs so her suitcase, her goes all the way to the back of the plane. She was just literally trying to get, like, I don't know where the other kid was, trying to get, like, an open seat. Like, I don't... Or maybe get him to move and then take his seat. Maybe that was her plan. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, like... That's weird. That's so random. I feel like if you're Did he ever find out the answers? Like, why? No, no, no. But it's like... If, I feel like if you're ever in economy, like, I, like if my seat's all the way in the back, I don't, don't mind saying matter. no to people. I don't care. Okay, I did. You give up. You, Bro, you no, no, do no, that. Because on the way back from Europe, I was sitting, me and Zayn weren't sitting together. I was sitting, and the thing is, the night before, I literally went and, like, moved my seat. They gave me, like, free seat selection after they, like, assigned us. So I went and, like, I picked a seat that had, the whole row was empty. Mm-hmm. So I picked that, and I went into the flight being like, okay, maybe, like, people might come in, I knew that, but, like, maybe one seat will be empty. I sat down, and the thing is, first red flag, man was low-key racist, should have just said no based off that, because we're in Germany. Yeah. So, man comes up to me, do you speak English? <gasps> I I should have said, said I, no, I don't speak English. You should have said away, that. And looked away. You literally put my headphones back I should have done that. I should have done it's that. It's giving the lady downstairs. No, it's, no, literally, but I didn't. But I did it. I said, yes, I do. Because I'm always just like, yes. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, what do you mean? Do I speak English? <laughs> We're in Germany going back to the States. I'm sorry. Like, what do you think? Also, like, I just don't what understand. Like, okay, yeah, sometimes people don't speak English. Yeah, but, but, like, you don't have to assume. assume. How about start talking to C and find see out. See if they look confused. Of, and, yeah, yeah. Or they'll say sorry, no. They literally say sorry, don't speak but, English. But, like, but then he goes, he asked if I would switch seats so that because the person sitting next the the seat open next to me was going to be someone in there so that they could sit together and i was like and i got flustered and when like people come up and ask me things and like i didn't want to say no and everyone looks at me like the like the muslim oh, girl didn't want to compromise <laughs> do you know what i mean it's just like i get the, what you mean i get so what it's you like mean. i just didn't want to do that so i was like you know what let me just be nice get up he didn't tell me where the seat was to begin with he just asked if i want to switch seats he walks me to the last row on the plane it was literally 12 hours. And I was sitting next to a family, bro. So I was pissed. Like, I was genuinely upset. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't. I would have been. I would have been pissed. And the thing is, like. It's, and like, weren't I, you next to stinky people, too? No, it's not that they were stinky. They were just. No, it was. Okay. So it was that like, is the biggest pet peeve of mine on a plane. Stinky. If I'm no, yeah. stuck with if someone stuck, who smells. Thankfully, they were not stinky. But. But. It was the father, the son, and the mom, and then me. The mom. Like, we all have our designated, like foot area space in front of us oh and like it's divided like between the seats like you like you shouldn't be able to cross over really she decides to not put her backpack up up front when there is actually plenty of space on connect like international flights most people check in most of the bags yeah there's and they're always overhead planes, space. right yeah there's always overhead space like you could have shoved it puts her fat like duffel size like hiking backpack <laughs> stuffed brie under the seat gives herself no leg room so what she does is spread her legs wider and puts one of her leg under mine thing is wouldn't be an issue i wouldn't care usually but my i'm surprised you wouldn't shoes. care if someone put their foot underneath my foot space i'm sorry i would have been like the thing i would have kicked them i didn't notice at first because honestly i was sitting like feet up like the buckle around okay. like holding my legs up because honestly sometimes i don't like having my feet on the ground like yeah. i don't feel comfy so like I was doing that, so I didn't notice for a while, but I wanted to put my shoes on to go to the bathroom because I took my boots off. Shh, my boot was literally up under, like forward, shoved. touching the other, like shoved, shoved underneath the railing. Like I was pulling it out. I literally went under and I started tugging on it, knowing <laughs> she'd feel it. And she, she goes, huh, huh? starts pulling on a flashlight. Did you lose something? I was like, no, no, no. You just shoved my shoe <laughs> underneath the seat. And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. And I was like, I shouldn't be sitting here. I shouldn't be sitting here. Like, this isn't my seat. No, exactly. That's the thing. At the end of the day, yeah, you were put in the back. Like, but that's on you, baby girl. No, I I need to learn to stop. Stop saying no to white. Like, start saying no to white people, especially. Like, why am I giving up? Start saying no to everyone. No, yeah, but it's like I always do it, and it's like. 
Why? Yeah. Why? Especially no, like so I at don't the end need of the day, give up you're, anything you're for you. fucked at the end. No, yeah, I'm just the only one uncomfortable. You're gonna be fucked either way if it comes out bad for saying no. You know what I mean? If they want to, yeah, make but it it's a big you know deal. what? At least I'd be comfortable in the seat I chose instead of being uncomfortable. Exactly, either that's way. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Girl, Remember so when fun. last time I went to the airport and I went to the wrong airport? Well. Last time I went to Florida. Oh my gosh, I literally went all the way to the wrong airport. Do you know how like sh- I've never done that in my life. No, I've never done that. I, I've never and done the thing that. is, I'm sorry. If you know, you know. I know a lot of people in New York watch this. But going to, like, if you live in Brooklyn, honestly, anywhere, most places, oh, yeah. unless you are lucky and live close to the airport, going to JFK or going to LaGuardia, it could be up to $80 Uber. Yeah. Unless it's you take, cheap. and taking the train is all right. But from where we live, deep and as we hell. And we have, like, bags. Like, it's like a 15-minute walk to the train. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I, 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 that if it's early morning, I'm going to Uber. Like, yeah. I don't want to spend an hour and a half close to two hours to the get train. there when I already have to be there. Out, like, it's going to... your bags up the stairs of the train? Like, it's, I... I've done it before. I've done, I've done it. it. And it's, it's a not, hassle. It's, it's a hassle. It's a hassle. And, and also, like, our train station is, like, a, a 15 to 20 minute walk just from house. So I'm like, I don't want to do that with all my bags. Anyways, yeah. So spending money to go there and it's the wrong. And then I thought maybe last minute I could make it to the other, but then it would have been another like damn near $100. Another, yeah. And I, I ended up, they ended up being nice. They, I was crying. I'm sure I they told felt her to bad. Cry. No, because she's like, you didn't have to tell me, bro. No, but I, I was like, going to cry in front bald. of them. Like, you cry in front of them. I immediately was, because I was, I, you have to. I have very bad airport anxiety. I hate going. So like the fact that that and also it's women, they always feel bad. They do you know bad. how? Im- no, they were mean to me. Oh. Do you know how embarrassing it is to go and like you know bef- at Laguardia before the gates and sometimes they have people stay in there, sometimes they don't. But they had people like usually it's sometimes yeah, it's yeah, open, yeah. but yeah. then sometimes they have people standing there and you have to scan the thing. Yeah, I, the guys looking at me smiling, scan your thing. I scan it. It says wrong destination airport and it goes red. Do you know how embarrassing no, that is? So embarrassing. I literally was like, and the fact is th- that yeah. I didn't even, I immediately saw that and ran away because <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I ran away with my bags. Like I didn't even like say anything to the man or anyone. I like turned around and just ran with my bags, bawling, crying. And like I, my parents weren't answering me. I knew they were going to be pissed because I was going to miss my flight. It was their money. I was like, oh my God. But then eventually when I got, I was like, okay, everything's going to be all right. Honestly, you know, when, like you said, when one thing bad happens, it just ends up being a shitty rest of the time, whatever. The, the only good thing is that I got a flight within the next hour. Immediately, I go back to the line. I'm like, hey, it works now. There's a dog behind me. And this dog, I don't know why it's out of its carrier, but it takes a <laughs> shit. It what? takes a shit right next to my bag, like oh, two centimeters, no. two centimeters away. And I'm like, I turn around and it's like, it's a full line. I'm like, jeez. Right, and the lady, she like, I saw her like do it so quick to like nobody notice, and I acted like I didn't notice. But, oh, like, nobody... I would have caused the scene. Are you serious? I would have grabbed did, my I bag and went. Oh! I like. I, I did like disgusting. <laughs> I would have made the biggest scene. I was like, bro, get your dog in order. What is wrong with you? It was no. a mess. It was a mess. No, I would have. I would have caused the whole commotion. And uh, it was stinky. I been that it was exactly. It, but the thing is, it was wild because like oh. I know shit happens literally, but like. No, when you're traveling with a pet, but like, there's rules. But like, it was just that there was rules. so much people, and I was, like, just finished crying. Like, it was a lot. And then, you know, we get on, and then, like, I'm just, I'm hearing on the, suddenly on the intercom, a baby starts talking. And I'm like, no who way. brought their baby on the pilot? No like, I swear to God, it was tripping me. I was like, what's Wait, going on? on the flight? On the oh, flight. Oh, they let a kid up into they the cockpit? They must have let a kid, but I just hear, ah, yeah, yeah. The fact that they let Literally, him talk, ah, yeah, yeah. that's kind of, fu- that's kind of weird, because it's like, it, it was so You crazy. don't want to hear a baby while you're like, <laughs> and there's I, and like, I know I, baby no, I know I wasn't tripping because like I people like like poked their heads up and like was confused because there was no other talking after that like it was just that, and then before we got on I hear about how the plane that was supposed to come before at my gate they the plane broke. And I'm like, oh, great. Why do they tell oh, us that? Like, oh, great. No, 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 no. I just heard it. Oh. I just heard it because I was sitting by the thing. Stop and I was like, oh. Messy. I was like, oh, okay. And then while that was happening, I was eating my burrito on the floor. On the floor. Do you know how embarrassing? It was so embarrassing because people were getting off that broken plane and like just like their bags near me while I'm eating my burrito. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. But honestly, I was so defeated at that point. No, it doesn't matter. I was like, matter. whatever. I was like, whatever. But at least I, 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 I had a good trip at least. Oh, it was yeah. Fine. 
No, because <laughs> it always it's always a worse feeling when you miss a flight and it's not your money that was paid for the flight. Exactly. I felt so like, bad. It's like, like I, a shittier feeling. That's why I was like also bawling, crying. Thankfully, my stepmom is the sweetest. No, you yeah. know she is. Yeah. And like, I thought she was going to be upset, but she was just like, she started blaming herself. She was like, it's my fault. I thought I didn't know it was to JFK because usually we do LaGuardia. fly LaGuardia. JFK. It's too much of a hassle unless you're going international. Like, yeah, it's really exactly. It. Like, I think we got Even once though it's closer to California. Yeah. But like. Yeah, like, we always do G- LaGuardia, and she was like, no, like, I'm sorry, I thought it was LaGuardia, too, and it's like, don't blame yourself, first of all, I should have looked at the ticket, like, that's my oh, fault, yeah. meanwhile, my dad was like, when he, when I called him, kind of was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna miss, he's like, I, I'm at the wrong airport, he was you like, laughing. he goes, no, no, he wasn't oh. laughing, he was like, no, stop talking. You're 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 at JFK, right? You're you're at JFK, right? Oh, I hear Don't him. say you're at LaGuardia. I you're at JFK, him. right? I hear you. You didn't go to the wrong airport, right? Like he knew he I was. He loves to manifest. He knew he really I was. Loves to put it out he there. Kn- no, he knew I was, and that's why I was upset. But he just wanted to keep saying it to like make me more upset. Oh, you yeah, know? I hear his voice. But too. like. But then he's a piece of shit. He was like, you know, I saw it said JFK on your ticket. And I was gonna say something because we'd never really like. You know what I mean? It's never you know, JFK. He's like, he I thought that. you'd be smart enough. Like, I think like he was just saying that. Just he was just you. honestly. He was just saying that. Honestly, just yeah, he, he was just gaslighting. He didn't notice. He, he was, was gaslighting. No, because he was doing what you probably thought Seka would have done. Yes, but he was no, gaslighting. That's exactly, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. Literally, and it's like growing up is realizing like it's it's the other. It's way always now. what you think. It's always. It's what never now. what you think. <laughs> no, because when I missed my flight going to Zane, I remember bro, that. I remember. I remember. I woke up. Very, like literally as my flight should have started boarding and i booked it to the airport i you i still st- went i still went i got to sec- bro by the time i got past security and got to the gate they had just shut the doors they were like sorry and that's when i started to cry oh. i started bawling Brie. Yeah. i went up to the desk hyperventilating <laughs> and i was like i don't know what to do why do we think it's the end of the, the world is, no, the thing is no, no, no. flights will always no. do something i just didn't want to deal with this i was like you know if i forget i'm gonna manipulate them i'm gonna gaslight them into making them but think- even if you're not and crying you're like hi i missed they my put flight me on the next one the- no they, they don't give a shit yes, if you go will. up like that yes i'm pretty sure they will no even if you go up and ask like hey is there any way i can get my seat upgraded they will do it depends depends i've seen people make tiktok videos online saying like, you just have to ask but people yeah. never do. Yeah, but it's also if the flight's not booked fully, if it's up to capacity, you're not getting an uh, upgrade. There's circumstances. And a yeah. lot of those people, I, how much you want to bet, they have status with that I was airline. Say, they I have was points say. backed up. It's yeah. never the people who are flying spirit regularly, like me. Bro, the amount of spirit TikToks I've seen over the last few weeks, I are told you my taking mom, spirit no, this because week? I literally told her, I was like, Good. I'm not going on a spirit flight ever Good. again. Don't I've do seen Frontier too many. Either. No, no, no. No, I'm flying JetBlue. Good. JetBlue's good. No, Jet yeah. JetBlue's good. I'm actually... I mean, it's the good of the good. I'm so excited. I can say good it because this is going to come out while I'm already there, so it won't matter. Yeah. But I'm going down to surprise my dad for Father's Day, oh. and I'm really excited because he has no idea. Like, he does not know. And he called me this morning asking if I would ship his medicine that I bought for him while I was in Jordan. And I was like, yeah, I got you. And I was like, I got it. And I was shipping. like, oh, yeah. The thing is, when he called me, I was like so eager. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll do it. Don't worry. I was like, you'll get it this weekend. And He's then I texted be so him. Happy. No, and I texted him. I was like, it says it'll be there tomorrow. And then he was like, thank you. You're the package. I'm, I'm, I'm literally holding it. You're the package. I'm so excited. I, if he doesn't react well, I'm really sad. I feel like I already know his reaction. Like, I know how really? he reacts. Really? I like, can't. He get, he's like, he's, when he's like really happy or like excited, he's just like, but he acts like it. Like, I've never seen my dad like doing surprised. things. He's going to start doing things. You know what I, I mean? I don't know. I, it's crazy that you can picture him. I can't picture him surprised. Really? Like, I feel I like, like I've, I've never seen surprised him, him. You have. Well, you have. And I've definitely been there because how else would I when? have a picture? I don't know. He just has like, the most things I've ever surprised him with was like bringing but, him But food that's back. why I said hide the camera though. Because I know oh, he, yeah, he'll no, get a little, he gets a little camera see. shy. Oh, yeah. He does. No, or, or he'll do it more uh, if he knows it's a recording. Do you know what I mean? True. My dad's also like, True. Knows, but you should show. get a genuine reaction. No, I want to hide the camera. I just, I just want it. Yeah. Be. I just want to have it. I would say have your mom record, but no. honestly, I can no. never trust parents recording No, things. I don't sorry, want her guys. to record it. I don't want her to, mom, I'm sorry. No, it's like, it'll it. be the worst. She'll angle. just also every, be every holding parent, it like this in his every, face. Every parent never gets like a good just shot. Just like I in his face. I don't, I, I can't. can't trust older people. No. 
I'll do it my. I'll do it myself. I'd, I'd, I'd rather put Moochie up holding it. You're bringing Moochie? No, I can't. Why not? It's, it's expensive. expensive. <laughs> They're more expensive than our own. Than tickets. our tickets, <laughs> literally. Guys, I finally went to Coney Island, and if you know the if you know the history behind it from a few episodes ago, I haven't been since the three years we've been out here. And Zane coming to town was the reason I went. No, literally, like, he you literally, live here, and never been to Coney he Island. I I just wake up, he's petting Moochie, and he goes, he was literally like a kid at the end of the bed. He was like, "You want to go to Coney Island with us?" And that's the thing. And I was like. Okay. I was at yeah. home, so when you texted me, you're like, "Hey, like, like come we're over. Going. We're going we're in an going. hour. If you want, and if you want to come, like, we're going to Coney Island." And it's like I, in the back of my head, I was like, I was so tired. But it's like something you don't want to say no good. to. But I didn't want to say no because in one, an I'm hour, miss Coney Island, and two, in an hour, you'd be fine, and you'd be like, "I should have went." Exactly, and two, Literally. it's your first time, and we were talking about this. Yeah. I wanted to be there. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So like. Yeah, we had to go. We had to go. We went with like but, Keith but and Mariah. But this girl over here did not go on the rides. Bro, because first of all, first of all, the only rides they went on were the t- two. Brie went on the three rides ones. that day. One I went on with her. The other that two. That wasn't even considered a ride. First of all, if it was there, it was a ride. If we paid for it, it was a ride. All right. Anyways, I got dizzy. It was six minutes. It was longer than the other rides you went on. I spent more time on a roller coaster, honestly. It wasn't a roller coaster, though. <sighs> ride. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, it's the way the one of them I don't do. I do not do wooden roller coasters. But it's a, a legendary no, coaster. No, like it's no. been there for years. Like you. How about the do- cyclone, bro? First of all, first of all, <laughs> it was how's really that not fun. shut down? It was really fun. No, because I was just looking at it. I'm gonna I'm insert a picture. Mariah. I'm gonna insert a picture I took, Brie. The gas screws and the freaking like <laughs> once the once the cart went across a turn, I literally heard it rattling. And I was like, oh, that's yeah, it rattles not the good. whole ride. Not it's- good. And then the other one they went on was the laying down like the Superman one. And I already don't like that one because I know I that like- drop when you go upside down, like you kind of have to pull. I know about no, that. No, yeah. I'm and I always holding- hit my head. I always hit I my head. I was holding my body I to can't. the thing. I like- can't. I I know how my neck works. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah. I got nauseous on the ride we went. We don't want the one that like goes around in a circle really fast, like up and down and then like goes backwards. It's just like little it, carts that go yeah, circle and like, they, it plays music. It went for like that two one made me six. nauseous. That it one did make me nauseous. Just ate. And I also did not feel good that day. Like we I just said. ate though. Like we had just we eaten, did. and we then did. Mariah was like, "Let's start going on rides," and I was like, "I didn't think about it." But no, we, we just, just ate, ate, and I had to shit. Bro, like I had to go potty. And, I like, felt like I was about. To throw I knew up on I ride. couldn't go there. There's no way I'm doing that at Coney Island. Are you kidding me? disgusting i'm surprised i didn't have to pee i drank a lot of like lemonade soda like I was oh, actually that drinking. soda was so that good hit. it hit that, like, it was a like hot fountain, day a day like really today would have been a good day for Coney it was Island. it would have been but it was like hot hot it was like it was really hot. hot that day but going on the rides reminded me oh, of this time when i was little and me and my sister were on splash mountain mm-hmm. and Disney. Universal or Disney? It's Disney. I think it's Disney. Disney. And it's obviously a wet ride. I mean, it's Splash Mountain. Yeah. And I remember... Oh, my God. We were there at nighttime, too. So it's dark. Because we were there for the nighttime for one of, like, the Christmas events. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Know, they, you guys like, always used to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Oh my god, I know when she's, I know right now as she's watching this, she's gonna be like, oh, I know exactly what you're gonna say. Splash Mountain, Katie? Anyways, traumatized me. I Um, love water rides. We're on the ride, and it's, you know how, have you been on Splash Mountain? It takes a long time to slowly go up, and you're slowly getting there, and then you finally get to the top, and you don't even realize you're at the top because it's your inside. Yeah. And then you do that big drop. She pisses herself. In the drop? Before? She had to pee so <gasps> bad, and Why she couldn't she hold it anymore. On the ride? She had to pee, bro. Because Katie was the type of kid to never say she has to pee until the most inconvenient Sounds moment. Sounds about right. And, so, <laughs> and I remember, I remember my like. Everyone would be pissed about it. Everyone would be pissed about it. They're like, why didn't you go before we <laughs> left? Or why didn't you go at the house? Why did you go at the pit stop if we're doing a road trip? You know what that I mean? Sounds okay. that, she, that, that, that sounds okay. That was her okay. as a kid. Yeah, that but so she... And I remember the whole time, like, please just wait, Katie. We're almost there. And it wasn't, it wasn't like she's, water it wasn't, ride, bro. Like, it, I like, think that's why she let I, it out, yeah, too. Yeah, of course. But like so, that, it's already wet on the seat. So, Adaya, <laughs> the whole time, 
I don't know if it's the water ride or her piss. It was water down piss. And I'm holding myself up like this the whole time going up. And it takes like a freaking good 25 minutes until you get up there, bro. And like I couldn't even enjoy the drop. Like, and you know what's so funny? I totally forgot that. Like, it erased from my memory. But it comes back when it wants to. I didn't think about it until we were on the rides. I was like, ugh. (laughs) I remember that time. Wait, how old were you guys? I was in high school. She must have been in like eight. She was older. She could have oh. held her fist. She could have held her fist. We were not babies. No, because I'm picturing like I was baby like, no, Katie. I was like, like sophomore year. No, bro. Oh, I'm no. picturing like six, seven year old Katie. Come on, Katie. That's crazy. We're in middle school. No, she was in no. middle school. No, she was older. Oh, oh she was at least that's double digits. Funny. Oh yeah, no, for sure. That's funny. No, because holding yourself up on a drop is crazy. Also, it was crazy. crazy. It was. Like crazy. you're basically like I was basically against. I could have flown off. You're the basically thrive. like holding yourself up against the bar of it, bro. Right? Like just like yes, I like literally hip thrusting I'm up against the bar. No, it's it was so bad. It was basically so hard, thrust. and I just and then good core workout though. It was, but it was hard. <laughs> yeah. I was literally. I started crying. I started crying, and like, is, and then we, and then, and then I remember my parents had to buy her like fifty dollar freaking pants at one of the stores nearby. Well, honestly, would have gotten washed off with the freaking drop. No, bro, no? she, had, she, she, she had, soaked. So. She was, she was, she did a full piss. It was, it was, the thing is, seeing her piss probably would have made me laugh and start pissing myself. I wasn't laughing. Key. I was so upset. I couldn't enjoy. Really, it. I would have thought that was funny. Do you not think that's now I don't it's know. funny? But like. Why would you get mad at her though? Like, I, don't know. I wasn't I mad at her. her. I was just like, no, please don't. Please, 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 please don't be. And then she just did it. She's like, I'm sorry, Bree. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I can hear her like, I'm sorry, Bree. <laughs> like uh, lip quivering, bro. I can see she it. She can't get anymore. <laughs> bro, Katie, you're funny. You're funny, girl. Today, we went just like little like Marshall's TJ Maxx little Target. Oh just, we gosh. were really just looking. We didn't even buy too much. I can't really anything anyway. Like, do you want to go shopping with me? No, she said, do you want to leave the house with me? Do you want, yeah, because I needed retail therapy. Come on. She didn't end up really buying anything, though. But still, like, the act of No, like, I get it. I stuff, get it. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you just want to go in stores. And I'm glad and you stayed in the budget that you set. I did. I did. But the only thing that we ended up really getting was, like, food really items at, like, Target. So when we got to Target, we went to a different Target than we're used to. That's oh, like we the went to a different us. area because yeah. it had a Marshalls, TJ, and Target. Like all around it, we were like, oh, why don't we ever come down here? So we went there. Was down there. there was a lot of stuff There was a lot of stuff. And like we would go back down there, but never to that Target. They're banned on my list. Bro. Banned. All the workers there... They seemed miserable. They hated us. Oh, I don't know why. It's not, like like we're, like, it's not like we're like a group of teenagers coming in, um, like our pictures messing are around the with their backpacks. Like we're literally just two women just shopping. shopping. We're going to pay for everything. We are like, not I, causing a mess. We're not children. We're like, not yelling. I, just, I was just so... It started first with this guy. No, no, no. First, I was already on an edge because it seemed like these three girls were following us. They were us. following us. They it were felt following. like they were following us. You know that like trend of those like mean girls at Target and they follow like girls around like our age because we're not like we're not sixteen anymore. So they start like trolling. It felt like that every time we went down an aisle, they were right behind us, and they'd always <laughs> make eye contact with me. No, I didn't because, like it because you were in another aisle and they were in the same aisle with me. So then I went to your aisle to like find you because like they were all huddled around. There was three. But of them. I was running away from huddled. them. And then so when I went to you, then they came around behind me. I was like, they're following me. <laughs> yeah, but I was running I was away from them though. to begin with, though. But so yeah. it's like, but so then we went upstairs. You know how sometimes there's those carts and they're like I think they're like either putting them away or taking them out. Like it's not on the. It's not on the shelves. It's not on the shelves. But I saw some, some saw something there that I saw on TikTok and I was like, oh, we should try this. And we're looking looking at it and we're like yeah like let's go see to where that what aisle it is it was literally so, like, mouthwash we were literally just trying to see because we know there's other like varieties varieties of it. So we're like let's and, go like, look at them and we put it down like we, we literally just picked we it up we were looking at it, it down, we were just looking at it and then we were going we like, and it was funny because you were saying oh let's go to the aisle and i'm like yeah let's go and as we're walking away i hear ladies 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 and then i, and I turn around i'm like confused he goes this car you can't t- like, don't please t- don't pick up don't pick up on this car and we're like I'm sorry. Like, like we, he came we didn't take down any, from like, the other aisle to come. Yeah. I was like, we didn't he take was, anything off of it. I was mind like, you. like, whoa. Yeah. I was like, if we walked away with something, fair. 
fair we did not walk away with right. anything though right. like so we were just confused we were like okay whatever yeah it's like then, oh no i was just looking and by that time I, by the time of me saying that he already like walked away ran off he was like flustered all over no, the place he was all over the place and then so that just pissed me off i'm sorry i have anger issues i'm like don't no because and the thing is he me. kept don't like opening doors for like other people like the security doors and he was biased again while we were looking at the mouthwash and then brie was like she started she likes to rile people up more once they pissed her off but i'm just like just let it go like i, I don't want to get kicked issues. out right now I like i don't ang- want to get kicked out i'd rather just buy our stuff and leave and we did get stuff this so and the thing like- is it's like yeah this, like just let us buy it before we get kicked out brie so we went to go look at the clothes real quick. We both saw these dresses and we were like... On clearance. On clearance. They were like $10. And we were like, they're really cute. Let's try it on to make sure. Because like, it's clearance. Like, there's only a few sizes we want to make sure before we buy it. We go. And the thing is, there's a girl, like a worker girl, at the fitting rooms. But obviously, I know they're locked. They're always locked. So I go up to so her and I was like... ask her. And I literally go, I'm like, can we like get into She's one of the fitting rooms? She's not even making eye contact with us. She's just like... She goes, what? And I was like... And she was like, yeah, you can go into the fitting room. And I was like, okay. And I go up to one of them thinking, okay, now that they're magically open, maybe. And she goes, I have to open it for you. And I was like, so oh, why did yeah. you say I can go into right, it? Like, right, I don't understand why you right. said, like, you can go in. Right, so whatever. She opens it, we both go in. Because she only opened one, and we were both standing there. So it's, it's also like, the big one. It's the family one. No, yeah, one. but it's like, so, either open two, or don't be mad that we both went into one. Right. But, because but she never said anything, so I don't understand the issue. So we both go in. We're trying on the dresses. We, we already laughed. are, like, mid, like, We the both have on, the dress like, on. Have, and I think we said something. We started laughing, like, literally just laughing, and she comes banging on the door. It wasn't her, though. We hear well, someone, someone banging. And then I and then I hear, like, the microphone thingy. Like, it's, like... They're banging so again. We're like, and yes. the guy goes, do they have security out there? Like, <laughs> so, and, I'm, and I'm like, yeah. I said yes, and no one said anything. And then we, like, we're literally no she keeps clothes. banging she's like both of you can't be in there we're like okay well we're coming out like we're naked okay, like what I do literally you want was us like, to do oh, i'm naked like we're naked like i literally was yelling that and then they did it again i said we're getting dressed like, like we have to like put our okay clothes back like on. we're coming out now but like i'm not gonna i should have came out there with my tits out bro no because you you're yelling at me like what do you want me to do like i just we already in here now like we've been in here for a minute and like also like yeah, so I'm saying they didn't come till after, like way after. Like we had already put the dresses on our body. We were literally just need to take them off, put our clothes back I, on. Literally, you could so just then, give us a second to do and that. And then whatever dies, like Bree, just go out there, just go. There, I'll grab. Because she stuff. was done first. I and, got, like I yeah. still put my scarf and like. I layers. go out there. It's the the girl that let us in. She was just still doing the same thing for anything. Didn't even look up or look at me. It's some other Target worker and the security standing there, and I look at her. And I'm like, and I just like gave her a look and then she was like, oh, you can, all sweet, like, oh, you can, um, I can open this one for you if you want to try it. I'm like, no, I already had it on. I was naked. I, that's why I didn't open the door. Like I just, and then she was like, and then she was like, okay. And then she walks away and the, the other security just walks away. Like who called who? Like, I don't understand. Like, was. what's the issue? Also, why didn't the girl say that? Did she like want to like. I just I don't, don't understand. The thing is, no. You know what it is? I don't even think she did call or anything. I think that other Target worker, I think she was watching us. Like, I think they what, probably the thought something. Yeah, like, I think... Yeah, because think about it. When we went to the checkout line, everybody, no, everyone, all the was, workers... They would look at each other, they, and then the other person would look at us, and I'd be like, and they're, they're talking about us. They're talking, about talking, us. They're talking and I, about Honestly, us. I didn't know what was going on. This they thought they were stealing this. something. The thing is, that's why I left the things that we had grabbed, like my food, the mouthwash, I left it outside because I didn't want them to think we were stealing. We had one dress and a box of fucking Cheez-Its, bro. Like, I don't understand what... But like, that's why I put it down, because I was like, don't think I'm coming in here just to stuff it in my bag. Like, I left it all out there. I just took the dress in. So I was like, leave the mac and, and cheese. And I'm just like, thinking, because we've never been in there before. Like, I don't understand. No, they just think, they think that we look like two girls who'd probably come in there and just like, they, they put things in our bag. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want to get the dress after that. She pissed me off. So I just put the dress down. And I got the dress. She got the dress. But like, a part of me was pissed too. Like, I didn't even want to buy, like, I just didn't It was even. the way, the w- it was really the way the cashiers were looking at us when we were checking out. They just kept talking. That's why I kept talking. Ta- that's why I was talking loudly about it to you. But that's why I was trying to get you shut up because I was like, please stop. No, because what are they gonna? What are they gonna do? I want them to know like that they look stupid and they're rude. Well, I don't think they care. They think we're thieves. Clearly not. Well, they we didn't check us. So the thing is, I they know. can't. But then, they and then can't. they have the other security at the front of the thing too. I was like, oh, they they no, are they watching us. The security started following us till we left the store. Basically, I was just like, okay. we literally bought everything. I was we just didn't so anything. confused. I was just, I you know, honestly, I was so confused. I, was I bet like, that be- the first guy like he tipped them off and like raised red flags like these girls. 
They're being weird. I bet yeah. it was that first guy. Yeah. He didn't like us after the mouthwash. Honestly. We kind of better ourselves, bro. Yeah. Whatever. Right when you left to Florida, before I went away, I went to the grocery store. And I didn't go to the normal grocery store. I went to the one, like, more down the street. Mm-hmm. And... I want to check that one out. And it's, like, big and nice in there. I really only went in and grabbed, like, two things. So I was, like, I didn't look around too much. This man made eye contact with me as I was walking. And he was, like, where are you from? And then I, like, told him, like... Why do people always ask that? Because they're, like, curious background. Like, they can never... Like, people, it's I don't the same know. question every time that it, it, like, pisses me off now. It's, like, what's your favorite color? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's God. Good. It's just, literally 20 questions. 21 questions. But, what's your body count? <laughs> that's, what the, that's what guys do. It's so annoying. <laughs> no, for real. But I answered, and then he was, like, ugh, they make you hide it. That's all he said. That's all I said. And I was, like, he was, like, I get it. You're beautiful. But, like, you have to hide it. Yeah, from people like and you. And I was like, yeah, because you're being weird. <laughs> you're I was the like, I don't want to show you anything. Like, yeah. what's wrong with you? Like, you're literally 40 years old. Like, stop talking to me. Ew. Stop talking to me. I only answer to be polite so I don't get, like, attacked. Yeah. yeah. I'm really only answering so you don't attack me. Oh. Because I stopped answering. Oh, I, I love answering. being a woman. <gasps> no, because I, like... I used to not answer or ignore, and Brie would be like, you should be careful like, with that. And I, no, it is true. Sometimes, like, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. It depends. I can usually gauge out how creepy or how genuine they're being. If they're being, like, nice and genuine, I know they won't, like, react poorly sometimes. You, you never right. know. You never know, but still. Like, the one time when, like, I got locked out of the apartment, so, like, I would ask people. And I, I knew nothing was wrong, but it's, like, yeah, at the yeah. same time, like, we you said, you people. never know. We don't know these and people. so, like, he was hitting on me after, like, they got me in the building so yeah. obviously this is where i live or inside the building you were out Anything of town yeah. and he asked for my number i wanted a hug like all this stuff and he's a grown man and like i literally had to like i played along with it gave him my number because he did check it i couldn't give a fake one oh, like yeah. i can't do that because i i am scared that they the will check fear? it and you know what it is i accidentally did give the wrong one so he thought i was like you know whatever whatever so like i just didn't want to like reject 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 when you just want like help me get and it not saying that's here. a reason like, to and i live and right he there. also lives around here because he was around the burger i don't know i think he must have been a friend Maybe. i think he must have been a friend because his his friend lived across the street and helped oh. me get in but he was just there because he thought i was cute so but like but yeah it's like a situation like that like you don't want to like do anything because you don't know i don't know how they'll react scary it's scary that was while I was in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Well, after Florida, I went to um, Maryland mm-hmm. to visit my sister, my grandparents, and my uncle graduated over there. And every day from like my when my little sister gets home from school, the bus drops her off like right in front of their house. Mm-hmm. So like they usually go and meet her at the end yeah. of the driveway. So I wanted to. I, every oh, time I'm cute. there, that's I go cute. to end, oh, I go to the end of the driveway and wait for. She gets so excited. Whatever. <laughs> but my grandpa like came and sat with me. Whatever. And you know we we're just having. We're just chatting and we're sitting there okay so like where they live it's like they didn't realize it when they bought the house that like intersection that they live they lit it's like a weird intersection like okay so it's a road and then another road right but like the people that come from this road they can turn left or right but the only time they go straight is if you're going into my grandparents house it's a weird intersection so like yeah, a, but like okay. you only. So that's what I'm saying. But that's like, like a main road. It's a main road, and they didn't realize that during the day, it's all these trucks and loud cars. Like it's oh, a, and they go busy. fast. Like my, I think my grandpa has gotten on a little crash, little bender at that intersection too like before. Someone else, like yeah, because like, like pulling out because it's just it's, and they didn't realize that when they bought it, and it sucks because during the day it's like all you hear is that, and like oh, even at night I hear these trucks going by. I'm like, that's jeez, annoying. but I guess. And okay, my grandma hates Trump. And so she, my grandpa tells me the story. I can't believe I've never heard this because I'm, if you know my grandma, you know she's a little cuckoo. No, I remember. So, like, she apparently, when it was the election time, so basically, because that's a main road, a sliver, the front sliver of their driveway, and like they have rocks there, mm-hmm. and basically, like in some grass, and then that's the road, but basically, that's not their property. Like, you can stand There's there because you need a little portion on the side of the road for like to stand at yeah. a park o- on the side. So basically, you can stand at like the end of their drive, like someone not can be stand on their there property and not be on the property. So apparently, when election time happens, my grandpa told me that this intersection, they all stand like on all the corners, and they were st- these Trump supporters were standing 
on my grandma's on their property. But not on their property. But not, but not, but kind of still, you know what I mean? I'm sure they were said, but you know, my grandma, she was going to take it. She goes, she grabs the cat litter poop and starts throwing it at them. <laughs> Bro, I was dying. Honestly, I, my grandpa shit, told me this and I was bro. like, that's so funny. How that's come I never hilarious. heard that? That's, that's iconic. so funny. That's, I, I want to nice. do that. I, I was honestly, no, I want to throw cat poop I was like, at wait, someone. That if someone <laughs> really pisses me off, honestly, that's smart. And you know that's vile too. We can't do that to people like going. Unless they have a very, very good reason. Oh, no, yeah, obviously. We can't just go do it. But also, it's like, if someone like this to me, it's not like, like I'm going to have it in my purse. Like, exactly. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no, because I'll always remember that one time. It was like the first year we were out here when we were walking in Manhattan with your grandma and your grandpa. We passed by Trump Tower and she like spit at it. Or oh like my God. Put her gum we out all stuck it. our gum. We, we all put our. We, she was like, okay, girls, are you she ready? Says, you ready? She told us to. We all put our gum on the freaking building. Like on the <laughs> granite. <laughs> That was so funny. I forgot about no, no. that. Oh, I think about that all the time. I think about that all the time. It's so funny. I, I can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your dream. Bro, I had... I don't... I feel like I don't remember my dreams that often. So whenever I do remember them, they always feel so long and like they make me feel uneasy the next day. I don't know why. The first one, it was you, me, and Karina. We were kind of like... It was in Florida because I could tell like the way it looked. We were on like a parking garage, like on the top of it. So it was like all sky. And it was like thunder florida skies so it's like dark dark gloomy and then it felt like turbulence that feeling like when you're dropping in the air Ugh, that's I how i felt that in my dream. dream but the sky was like rumbling and getting closer like the world was ending the world that was the end of the world it was like the end of the world and the three of us were literally screaming and i felt like the pressure like cl- like literally like turbulence dropping oh, in my dream scary. i was freaking out i was <clears> freaking <throat> out yeah that's really scary. i didn't like that dream and then the next day, I had something that was, like, similar. I was on this weird island with my mom, and there was this long bridge that was, like, made of stone, but we kept driving back on it to get to the city. And it, like, didn't look like... It looked like a Middle Eastern city, I mean. It, like, looked like a combination of, like... Wait, no, because this was before I left. So I don't know what I was thinking But you went of. to Lebanon. Maybe it was, but it was, like, a long road, and every... Like, I remember being nervous the first time going on it, because it was, like... It's, like, hot, goes really high up, and it's on this thin road, and we're driving, it's, like, goes really high... Like... I felt uncomfortable on this road. And then we're coming, and it's, like, all, like, stones, like, built on a bridge. So it's, like, okay. pieces of, like, stone. It's, like, okay. not a road. We're coming Jeez. from the bottom because we have to go back up. We can see the bridge. Like, we're basically under it, but, like, far away. And we see three cars going, and one stone falls, and then these three cars just start falling onto each other. You know what? You probably dreamed that after that whole bridge incident in Maryland. This was, like, recently, and that was, like, so long ago. Really? I feel like that was recent. It wasn't that recent. That was a few weeks ago. No, it was right it before I went to Florida. No, it wasn't. It was right before I went to Florida because I remember my, my I had family. No, yeah, but... The family I had in Maryland were in Florida at the time because we were like, are you okay? I don't know why I thought that it was... That was like a little bit ago. Brie. Maybe, maybe... Did you hear about the new... Maybe you heard about... Maybe you're thinking of another one. This is like happened recently and the video came out with the cars falling. Yeah. Down. No, I saw that, but that was like, I feel like a while ago. Like this... Like, I don't think I was thinking about that. Like, I just mm. think like I was having like a few days of really, like, really sussy dreams. Yeah. Like that would made me feel like also the same kind of like heart dropping feeling. Like all these heart dropping feelings, I feel like it's, it's like a a danger warning it definitely is but that was like two and a half three weeks ago basically before i left i always every time i have dreams like karina's always in my dreams like i don't know why like she i know she's known her for a really long time so it's like like she it's a constant face that you have known for so long so it's easy for your brain when i have random dreams and it's like about other things karina's like karina's always she's always there there. you really know her face like Like, i had a dream recently with her and I had this, I had a friend back then in high school and years later, I don't talk to him anymore. It turns out he's in jail now for murdering someone. Crazy, crazy. Happened to fall upon this article. It, it It's an insane thing. I don't even know how to get into that. We'll get into that story a different day. It's not even that much to get into. No. It's just, that's what it is. Like, really? I, don't, I feel I don't, like, first of all, the case, like the story I don't, was a lot. The thing is, I don't want to talk about that. It's just... 
Yeah. It's yeah. I, especially since I don't know anything really. And it's like, I just know they went downhill. Like, you know, they went on the wrong path. And like, honestly, it's just, but it's freaky to think about. Like, you know, when you're like, I've, we've all had this conversation where it's like, oh, I wonder like who in our high school is going to be like, who's going to get married first who's gonna be famous who's gonna be like da 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 no, you always think about that and it's one like, of your closest friends like that's insane like that's insane I don't know it's like there's been so many times where I wanted to reach out and cause like we were very close like very very close and like but yeah I had a dream recently and it was me him and Karina and back then we used to drive around a lot like we were in high school like he was the one with the car like we just drove around like we would see the sunset would go hang out at a park whatever and the all the dream was and it was a long dream of us just driving in silence <laughs> just drive him driving in silence and that's how it always was and like it was just like pink and blue like skies like it looked like you know the album cover of the Jaden smith album yeah and that was it and i was like what does that mean i'm like i don't know i mean obviously i don't know the thing Jesus is we were just it. talking about him literally like we brought him up you brought him up in like a quick thing that dream not was that long ago. ago. Oh, you said it was recent. I don't know. It it was recent. It was like a, before you went to Europe, though. Oh, crazy. I crazy mean, times. It was like a core time in your life, so it's like obviously you're gonna reflect back yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. That's true. And it's honestly better than like dreaming of something bad with it. That situation. Honestly, yeah. I feel like it's that's like, like a my way situation. of my brain just trying to like think of it as like a good, like remember that time. Moment. Like it was fine. Like right. It doesn't all have to be right. that. I always remember when I had my bad feeling about him. You weren't having feelings thinking that though. Like no, but I just that. I c- I cut him off a while ago because I had bad feelings. I didn't like him. Okay. We needed to let that out. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe down below. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.